Hey guys, today we'll be doing an upgrade on my Uber Scoop 1600 watts. We're going to be upgrading the battery from lead acid to lithium battery. Let's take this out real quick. There we go. More than heavy. So normally there was a plug they should have to unplug I already did that it was right here everything is already connected so it's four 12 volt batteries which add up to 48 volt so if it was a 36 volt if you had a 36 volt 1000 uh, watts you would have had just three batteries okay so I'm going to be replacing it with, actually it's right here, it's 48 volt 25 amps, 25 uh, watts, 2500 watt. So this is the old battery and this is the new battery. can do a comparison as you can see the new battery is way smaller as far as height and width so when I purchased this lithium battery it pretty much just came with its own charger right here and a negative and positive wire which had a harness I removed the harness that was here and purchased an OEM Uber Scoot harness from their website you can get it from pretty much anywhere just type in Uber Scoot harness you can uh, where I got it from was BigToysUSA.com, like ten bucks. So it came just like this, which comes with two fuse holders, which you need for the controller inside. You want everything to be as accurate as possible. So I just purchased this harness, purchased two uh, fuses, and I did it as cheap as possible. I just got some shrink wrap twisted the connections together and shrink wrapped it just on the sides and I left it a little bit big right here because once these wires melt they shrink it as you can see over here this is self shrink shrunk I mean yeah so let's install it this right here is pretty heavy this is half the weight I can lift this up easy one hand even when you place it you can see the big difference how much room you have you can literally stack another one of these right on top of it and have a backup one if you like but no need as this particular one I have tested and I got 27 miles at 35 to 38 miles per hour this one only goes from 25 to 30 miles per hour and at that top speed it gets you about 10 miles so 27 miles and an increase of speed 10 miles and decent decent speed so for me because this is too small if I ride around it's gonna be bumpy I have to wrap it around with some bubble wrap to give it less room for it to move around the good thing about this battery is I get way more miles which is what I want and it's faster I made it bad thing about it I haven't figured out how to well not necessary the charging cord for this 
I wanted to integrate it somehow to the original charging port right here, which is connected to, to the controller. So whenever I have to charge it, pretty much this is hanging up through the side right here. And I charge it. When I'm done, I just tuck it in. Other than that, pretty much love this battery. It brought life back to the scooter. Makes it way better. Originally, before I tried this, for me to know that it worked, I have an electric bike. And this is 48 volts, 17 uh, amps. It's just a small shark battery with one of those uh, USB power on, etc. So I took that and put it in here, which fit pretty much just on this side and connected that harness to it to test it. And I got a decent amount of speed, which gave me a little bit increase, which was 32, 33. So I decided to go with a bigger and better battery. When I purchased this battery, I thought it was gonna be huge. I was worried that it won't fit in the box. So my expectations are a lot different now. <laughs> All right, let's set it up. As you can see, just wrap it around connect the harness I don't need to change the controller I don't need to do anything like that there's no upgrade you know all this difficult things you need to do you just need to swipe swipe out the battery so pretty much if this battery dies and I, I want to go out some more I can just plug this up and get an extra 10 miles and vice versa I'm not in the scooter I'm giving it to somebody to ride or something I don't want them to use up all my batteries so I might just plug this one in let them have a ride on it I also like to keep two fuses in here just in case and a zip tie just in case 